Hey guys and what is up? Welcome back to Jebex Flips. My name is Jenna and if you don't know me, basically what I do here on this channel is I buy things for cheap and I resell them online for a profit. I'm a full-time reseller and today I thought that I'd bring you guys with me to pick my orders from the other day. Now I'm really excited to show you guys some of the items that sold because some of them are some good profit items. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get to printing my pick sheet. As you can see here, we have 31 items going out today for a total of $944 and 31 cents which is awesome all right so now that I got my pick list ready I'm going to head over to my storage unit where I keep some of my items and then the other half of the items I'll show you guys later they're here at the apartment and most of the good items are here at the apartment so make sure to stay tuned let's go to the storage unit Alright guys, so we did make it here to the storage unit, and as you can see, not much has changed since I was last here with you guys. I just have uh, these bins over here, the BXs are for smaller items, those tubs don't have any lids, and then the rest are numbered bins here that I keep my inventory in. And just as a reminder for you guys, I do charge shipping for all of my items, except these Motorola cubes that I got in a lot in a bundle. And I actually did sell one of these today. So I sell these for $5.97, which leaves me for one or two dollars profit after all is said and done. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into picking the rest of these items and sharing some comps with you guys. All right, guys, the first item that I sold here is this realistic Pocket Vision 22. I got this at the bins a few days ago. It has no battery cover, but it's still sold for $6.97. I'm happy with it because my bins only charges $1.59 per pound, so this probably was only a dollar. The next thing we sold is this Archer power adapter, and this sold for $4.98. I got this at the bins as well, so I spent little to nothing on it. I then sold this lot of five transformers. I sold them four parts because they're missing legs and arms and all that. I think I got these at the bins because I thought they were worth something, and I sold these for $7.50. I took a best offer to just get them moving. Up next, I sold this DVD for huge money. I sold it for $1.48. Just happy to see it go. I've had it for over a year, I think. I then sold these under armor shorts for seven dollars and 78 cents and these i actually used to have in my closet and decided to just throw them up on ebay to sell them because i no longer wore them anymore i then sold this lot of two wall plugs and remote for 19 dollars and 97 cents i got these at the bin a few weeks ago i then sold this pdp playstation 4 controller charging system for $2.78. Another small sale, but I'm just happy to see it move. Up next, I sold this remote control boat, and I sold it for $29. I actually got this when I won a whole bunch of electronics at an auction and filled my car for $400, and I'm happy to see this go because I've had it for a while now. I also sold these shoelaces here for $2.98. Super easy to pack and ship out. All right, guys, as I was pulling orders here, I just got an amazing offer for this car horn and someone offered me hundred and twenty dollars and of course we're going to accept this offer and pick it while we're here so I'm very happy to get this out the door today up next I sold this vintage Coors koozie and it sold for fifteen dollars and twenty seven cents and guys keep a lookout for these vintage thicker foam koozies they usually can sell anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars I've sold them in the past this next sale is going to be hard to believe, but I got this figure at the bins for about a few cents. It weighs almost nothing, and I sold this loose pop for $48.97. You never know. Some pops, if they are vaulted, they can go for good money. Just the other day, I sold another Golden Girls pop for, I think it was $30.00. And I've also sold a saw one in the past that went for, I think, $60 to $70. So look up loose pops. You never know how much it may cost. Up next, we sold this Chefman coffee grinder. And I sold this for $8.49. Happy to see it move. All right, guys. And the last sale I have for you here at the storage unit is this Pittsburgh Pirates hat. And I sold this for $12. I took a best offer. And as you can see... All I do when I pull my orders is I set them here and then I bag them up. So I'm going to get these bagged up for you guys and then let's head back to the apartment where the really nice items sold that I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's get going. So I am 
back from the storage unit and I pulled the items uh, that are going out today that I want to show you guys but before we take a look at those items and what they sold for I want to talk about the horn that you guys saw me sell that I took a best offer of $120 on now I only got this a few weeks ago and I actually got it at the bin so I only paid about two or three dollars for this and I flipped it to $120 if you have any types of bin stores such as the Goodwill bins or even liquidation pallet store type bins you should always check what is inside cardboard boxes I had no clue what this was I still really have no clue what this was but I looked it up I typed in what was here made sure everything was in there and because of that I am now making a profit of $120 if I didn't do all that I wouldn't have made this sale today anyways let's get into the items that I've picked here at home the first item that I sold here is these NMDs and I sold them for $11.97. Took an offer on them because they're dirty and I actually bought these because I thought I could clean them up better but after throwing them in the washing machine and trying to rub off this dirt I couldn't. The reason that I also picked these up is because I really only wear Adidas NMDs because I like the way they look. So. I had to get them. They were also at the bins. Up next, I sold these New Balance shoes and they're in really good condition. I got these at the bins and I didn't even have to clean them and I sold them for $33. Up next, we have two VHS tapes. This enemy VHS tape I've had for forever and it sold for $1.35. And this Barney VHS sold for $4.98. Then I got this Epson photo scanner and I got this at the bins yesterday and it sold almost instantly for $69.97. Such a good flip. I then sold this Canon camera that I got in a lot. I paid about $4 per camera and I ordered a battery to test this out and I listed it yesterday and it sold for $89.97. It even had a little defect on the screen. You can't see it when it's off. Some of the LEDs on the back of the screen are green when you turn it on but I listed that in the description and I even titled read description. I also got this camera in a lot as well and it comes with the camera, the case, a whole bunch of other stuff and I sold this for $25 a few minutes after posting yesterday. Up next we have Skate 3 for the Xbox and I sold this for $3. Like I said, most of my video games I get in a lot and usually I try to aim for $2 or less per game. Up next, I sold these two time attendance clock sign-in things for $44.97 each to the same buyer. I'm so happy to see these go. I also got these at the bin, so I only spent a few dollars for them. Up next, I sold this Samsung flip phone for $12, fast flipper as well. The next item we got going out is also from the bins. It's a little drawing pad bundle, and I sold this for $24.97. You should always keep an eye out for these drawing pads that plug into your computer because sometimes they can be worth some good money. I also sold another camera. This is a Canon SD100 and this was also in the same camera lot as the other Canon. So I only paid $4 for this and it sold for $39.97. We got another camera here that I also got from the same lot. Paid $4 for it and it's going out for $65. And the last camera going out today is this Kodak camera and it sold for $14.97. I also got it in the camera lot. So we have three more items going out today and one of them is this Apple iPod Shuffle dock and it sold for $9.97 pretty fast. We have this Cogsworth little Walt Disney cake topper. I think he's from Beauty and the Beast and he sold for $5.97. And then last but not least, I sold this little Raphael Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mighty Beans for $3.90. And those are the last of my sales that are going out today. I need to go now and get them packed up and get them ready to be brought to the post office. All right, guys, so I just finished packaging all my items and I'm about to run them to the post office. But before I do that, I just want to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys maybe learned a thing or two or learned about items that you should be picking up when you see them out in the wild. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and leave a comment on more videos you might like to see from me. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time.